Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. I want to talk to you today a little bit about midget 1500 overheating problems. Let's take a look at the 1500 here, which has overheated. Now we've already got the head off. We're not sure if the damage to number two is from something having fallen in the cylinder or if it was a, as a result of it overheating. Uh, it, could be, it could be either. Um, the question is why does it overheat and it, and it will not overheat if, there is, um, if there's enough water in, in the system. Water can only get up to about 240 degrees under pressure, uh, but as long as there's water in the system, it can't overheat. So the only way it can overheat is if it goes low on water, and that's what happened to this one. Why, we're not sure yet. Maybe it was a leaking hose, maybe it was inattention, uh, maybe a, some leak had started around the head or the water pump or someplace, but the level the water came down, and then it could no longer, the, the coolant, water in the antifreeze could no longer cool the cylinder head and the cylinder head overheated. When it overheated it warped. Once it warped then the compression from the pistons coming up pushed the compression into the cooling system and blew the rest of the water out of the cooling system which made it overheat even more quickly. So this thing starts off kind of slow, and then all of a sudden you get to this critical level, the head warps and oh, you're, it's just, it goes ballistic within, uh, what, half a mile, a mile of driving on, on the road. When it warps, the cylinder head actually warps, and it also overheats at the center of the head, usually, and the valve springs go bad. If you don't replace the valve springs, then what will happen over a period of time, um, or, or when you hit an RPM range of around, well, say, three grand or 3,500 or four grand, depending on how badly the springs have been overheated, then you get valve float. And it's a, it's a rev limiter of sorts. You just can't make the engine run any more quickly. And of course, it should free, free rev um, up to 5,000, 5,500 without any problem whatsoever. When you go to put the new cylinder head gasket on, there are two types of two types of gaskets. I'm going to see if Eli can come in here and catch the ridge here. There's an extra thick ridge on this cylinder gasket. It isn't just flat. This is quite a quite a a, a um, protrusion here. It stands proud over here on the other side. We have very much the same thing. Normal cylinder head gaskets are very flat, but these have this extra ridge. And we're going to look inside the engine and we'll see that there's a ring around the top of the cylinder right here. This, this ring cut round that is designed to accept that ring here. And that, that, that's what seals it all up. So, if your Mitch at 1500 has overheated, it will warp the head and it will blow the coolant out of the system, just in a jiff. You can tell simply by taking the, the top of the expansion tank off, running the engine, and you'll see the bubbles. You'll see the bubbles coming out. So, and the only solution is to take the head off the engine, get it machined flat, do a valve job, and change the springs. That's about it for today, just a short mention of midget 1500s. It's a real busy time here, you can see out in the shop, got all kinds of, all kinds of projects going, and, but there's always room for more, so if you have any problems or questions, please get in touch. Till then, safety fast.